to another video. So today we're going to be making these laser spy glasses um, that shoot a laser at wherever you're looking at. So just to start off, I'm going to tell you that this laser right now is just a red laser pointer laser. It's not dangerous to your hands or to anything really, except for your eyes. Um, but you could easily replace this with a more high powered blue or green laser. Um, and if you do do that, it's I'm just going to say right now that um, I'd recommend you look at um, some safety standards and things because they are dangerous and you could hurt yourself. So what you're going to need for this project is you're going to need a laser diode, which you can get from an old laser pointer. Um, you're going to need a switch or like a button like this um, that you can get from any circuit boards for remotes and stuff. And you're going to need a battery, which any type works, but I'm using the small LiPo battery that will easily fit into the glasses. I will have links to all of the parts for the electronics down in the description below. Um, that way it's easier for you to find the parts. So the first thing you're going to need to do is solder on wires to the laser diode. Um, and then you're going to need to attach one of the wires to one terminal of the battery. The other is going to go to one of the um, terminals for the button. And then diagonally you're going to attach the other one which goes to the laser diode. Now that we've soldered all this up, I'm going to now um, fit the all the parts onto the glasses. Okay, so now what I've done is I've taped all of the electronics onto the glasses um, just to hold it in place. And now I'm going to go over it with um, a better coat of black duct tape to try to hide all of the electronics. Okay, so there we go. I just finished up taping it all up. So now we basically... They look pretty normal. You want to make sure you tape all the electronics on the outside because if you do on the inside, they're going to be uncomfortable to wear. Um, and this is just a like rough prototype type thing. If you want to make this better, you could probably cover it with plastic or something. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Really appreciate it given that these videos take me quite a bit of time to make. And I'll see you in the next video.